All right, welcome to my first graphic novel book review. This is a special one for me. Uh, this is uh, Grass of Parnassus, a Catherine and Stuart Imonen uh, book they put out. Just came out about a week ago or so. Um, it's very special to me because it really... Um, inspired me to like really start producing work and uh it was a simple concept in the uh in the beginning and they and they posted it online on their instagram and it'd be a weekly installment of a series of panels two or three sometimes five this has a it's almost like a strip and uh it, it came out weekly and it just constantly impressed me with uh everything they were doing and it was again weekly just putting it out there online no expectations very you know funny odd non sequitur type stories uh it was just all over the place and i freaking loved it and i loved the idea of just doing a couple panels or one panel story even a one panel story and it started really making me think instead of trying to work on the galaxy taxi which is my own comic i'm working on now you know trying to figure out these you know writing for it for me is very hard but uh and then trying to produce work and then not being happy with it and then just you know end up abandoning pages or you know writing out storylines getting stuck and then kind of like where do i go from here you know and then i'm trying to produce work i can all i'm always drawing every single day and uh but you know actually producing comic pages to where i can uh get you know something together in terms of putting a book together you know and uh so i was really studying this what they were doing and the idea of it and it and was really leading me to attempt something like that and there's and if you look on my instagram uh there are a couple one panel comics that i was doing um uh, and uh they were kind of working kind of not and then when inktober came along i said to myself basically inspired by this the by the work they were doing i was like i'm just going to do a series of one panel shorts or whatever and then it turned in and then uh when i re was really thinking about it i said why not make it the my goran uh, galaxy taxi character and see where it goes just start it i had no plan no uh no story written out no ideas i just jotted down a few ideas he's, i knew he was going to be on an alien in an alien city, you know, just kind of walking around, and I see, and I was like, well, let's see what happens, and then, you know, we're definitely going to get some coffee here, so a couple scenes getting coffee, and then just more walking around, and uh, I kept at it, and uh, I actually finished, I actually did all 31 panels, and when I put them all together, I'm, I'm trying to put in a, put together a little mini comic now, and I'm actually writing a narrative for it, but this type of work here was the real catalyst and inspiration for it so it's like uh right now for me one of the most important books uh out there the only only other guy that's really was really uh pushing me towards this even before the grass of parnassus stuff was uh tanchi uh zonich I, I i do not know how to pronounce his last name but uh i'm gonna try but i've I, this was his in inktober and it was it was more the uh, uh, origin of the catalyst of um, uh, the idea of the one panel story because these were just so uh, so brilliantly done. Just a character tells an entire story. The moods of these just so s simple but very complex. You know, just whether it was just a character's look. You know, and just there's so much behind that. I was just really enthralled with it and uh you know i'm gonna 
I'll actually just thumb through this book as well, even though this is more of a Grass of Parnassus uh, review, but same type of idea, you know, just having images and invoking some type of of story idea or re not reaction, I don't even know what to call it, but just these are brilliant, like the phones and then and then like just writing something like this phone should never ring and he's answering it and then that's the guy. I mean, just brilliant. I, that's all I need. That's so, I don't know. To me, again, really inspiring with the kind of the tech he does. He's he, he uh, you know, through Steve Rude and him, I'm starting to really get into Alex Toth now, and uh, I'm just I'm just really uh, enamored with that more simple lined work, and uh, I'm trying to uh, incorporate it into my own work, but just the uh, the frame, the the framing, er everything, just you know the square. The, I want to say this is more postcard, but I could or Polaroid type dimensions, but I could be wrong. But uh, I like it either way. But I stuck with the square paneling anyway. And uh, yeah, here's a couple more, just because this book is incredible. Pretty sure you can still get this on this site. But again, one of my favorite artists right now. And I got my sticker that I have yet to use on anything. Might be putting that on uh, my guitar or bass. But yeah, just awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, but in the same vein of this uh, Grass of Parnassus stuff, again, just I'm not going to thumb through every page, but I might, might as well because I really don't have a, uh, a time limit here. So, but the uh, just having it all in one place, the book is twenty nine ninety five hardback with that hardback slip cover. Uh, unbelievable price point uh in terms of page count because this is like 250 pages worth of stuff uh again just kind of funny odd sci-fi which i love and it just gives me so many ideas or, or it was again such an inspiration to just start producing my own stuff and just the simple uh simple stuff about it but uh yeah I just when I look through it it's just fun comics man and uh you, you just don't see enough of it these days uh and it really really made me focus on this type of square panel design and I'm seeing what he's doing in it and it's not limited limiting him in any way even though when uh when when you're laying out comic book pages there are a lot of things that are unique to storytelling within comics uh that you can do with the page layout and all that's interesting and stuff but in terms of trying to produce work uh it's just a real uh interesting like parameter of uh to work from so it it, it kind of you know everything kind of falls away in terms of lay extra stuff that you need to do just focus on this panel this page and uh the challenge of the inktober was to do it every day don't uh good or bad just move on there were plenty of mistakes that I, in panels I was not happy with. I just told myself, move on. Just just move on. Make the next one better. And when I got through the first week, I was like, holy crap, I, I got through the first week, you know. And then 14 days in, I was like, damn, I'm, I'm almost halfway through. You know, I'm halfway through now, you know. And then the third week, I was like, I might be able to actually finish this thing. And uh, lo and behold, I did. And I came up with a shock ending. Uh, spoilers. He loses his leg. But uh, I thought it was funny just how quiet and uh, 
well not funny but just more impactful that the uh the entire episode you know just take is is basically him on a leisurely walk drinking coffee checking you know his investments and uh you know contemplating his future and whatnot uh and in the end uh like a traumatic event happens anyway that was the idea of it and that came out of just again no no real planning just me thinking how, how am i gonna end this and uh i thought it I thought I needed to do something big because the entire month uh, of panels was pretty uh, non, <laughs> you know, non-action oriented. It was it was literally just like a a walk. Uh, but anyway, I'm I'm uh, I'm writing out a script for it now, and um, you know it's it's pretty much writing itself because I was I had all these. You know writing ideas and I wasn't gonna uh, I was gonna try to write it as I went but then I thought if that somehow uh, slows me down or causes me not to put out a panel I, I just didn't want that added pressure in it and I just wanted to focus on the art and just you know do the art and move on but this what he's doing here man uh, just everything I mean this is is worthy of a of a publication like this. I mean, I even love the paper stock, the matte print, colors look incredible on it. Um, and as you can see, like this this book is just a lot. There's a lot of a lot of panels on it. Um, you don't realize how many he actually did until you like really sit down with this book and uh, start thumbing through. But again, it's just just gorgeous fun book man uh yeah and then kind of get to the end of it here but uh and then the supplemental material in and of itself is worthy of is worth buying the book uh even if you had any type of reservations because it's always interesting to see what kind of you know I love seeing process. That's why I try to, you know, post that kind of stuff on my own uh, YouTube channel. Uh, the actual art of drawing, but I love seeing how, like these. If you can see that one there, but this is mimics the design of that of that ship in the beginning. Uh, just you know, just seeing concept art and layouts and stuff. I can't get enough of it. I I love seeing this. Uh, yeah, just all the work that's going into what seems like a you know just a simple panel, but uh, yeah, he he's really really giving this a lot of thought and planning. It almost looks like a lot of that stuff was digital, but I think he is actually drawing it by hand. Again, more concept art notes uh, for characters and whatnot. I just love seeing this stuff. I mean, it it is it is a gorgeous book. Uh, yeah, and like I said, it, it inspired me for my Inktober uh, prompt, which was you know my own prompt. I didn't actually follow anybody's list. But I knew what I kind of wanted to do with it, and I knew at the end of the end of the month, if I completed it, I would have thirty one panels that breaks down into like a sixteen page book, and that's a mini comic right there, and that's a one one thing I can, you know, I'm scripting it now and uh, gonna print it up, and that's another thing I can have it, you know, the art walk or art show or you know convention that I may uh, you know attend instead of. You know, just having the art book and original artwork, it's just like another thing uh, you can sell. And uh, again, if you keep that up for 52 weeks, you know, you got a, you got a huge book uh, that you can print at the end of the year. So it's, it's uh, something I want to continue after I, after I write this. I love seeing, you know, photo references for, uh, uh, artwork and whatnot. 
yeah. But yeah, you can see like his little layouts, notes. Another thing I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start doing more of is uh, drawing on uh, gridded paper to get. I would just cut down on perspective lines so much if you could just get it, get these uh, background layouts done with that grid order in the background. But yeah, like I said, more concept art, just gorgeous stuff. And I know he uses. I've seen a lot of stuff online where he does, you know, 3D render a bunch of stuff uh, from his other books and stuff, but uh, tech and whatnot, and I can't remember that Marmalar book he does, he did with, uh, with him, uh, it's, uh, I'm blanking on it, anyway, I saw a lot of behind the scenes stuff on that, and it's just gorgeous, but I really love this style, it's really clean, art you know again just more character design notes a lot of stuff to sift through and read yeah like i said more 3d rendered stuff and uh there's a bunch of photo reference stuff in here as well stuff like that uh i'm gonna get to here in a minute that I thought it was really interesting again more layout stuff and just kind of working it out there's like a process shot on just you know just this one panel yeah the coloring really blew me away on this but I'm doing all mine in black and white or you know gray tones just just because I'm thinking about a uh, printing cost, and I know black and white is just way cheaper for everything I do, and aesthetically, I just like it, so it works for me. Uh, a lot of people might not be a fan of it, but uh, here, here's what I was talking about, where he's just, you know, photo referencing a bunch of this stuff, and I know this is the kind of stuff he's going to reference in a background when you're thinking about tech, and, you know, just greed leaves what they call it in uh, the movie industry of uh, modeling and whatnot to get these type of backgrounds you need to reference that for some sci-fi thing or get it in that more of a interview there but like something like that just so brilliantly done that you could insert those wiring into anything hospital setting construction setting space station anything it would it would make sense in a especially in a sci-fi book and it's something uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to incorporate more when I'm out and about, just starting take to, to start take these these type of reference photographs for future works, I see that uh, that that Tanchi uh, Zonich uh, does it as well. He posts a lot of photograph images like that on his uh, Instagram and whatnot. But uh, it's just a real interesting uh, practice to uh, incorporate into your own artwork to get these type of ideas uh, down. Like even this stuff, like the tech looks 3D rendered on some type of program. You know, I did make a, uh, I use SketchUp. I'm not proficient in it whatsoever, but I did do, well, I did do a, a well, I first made a, uh, a kit bash model of the Galaxy Taxi actual ship. And then I did a 3D rendering of it in SketchUp. To have uh, as a reference and I can turn that around and and have it at any angle and work out you know cityscapes in uh, SketchUp and that's a I, I still think it's free that's a really great program to try to learn to uh, get some real technical stuff done in terms of layouts and whatnot but uh, yeah just gorgeous gorgeous watercolor getting more layouts just got the book is just incredible like i said and and i wanted to feature it because not only is it just a great book great art great great stories and whatnot it's just a uh this looks like the layout for the the book um but again i just wanted to highlight it because it was such a uh inspiration for me in terms of like really starting to produce work and just it, it, I, I hope it does the same for you in in terms of uh 
breaking down all those excuses as to why you're not producing art. You know, why am I not producing a comic? Why am I not producing pages? But just to strip it down. Uh, for me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on one panel a day. You know, if I can do that in a year, you will have a book. Uh, it's, a, it's a real easy goal to do. And even when I was laying them out, I, I had, you know, two or three cued. So, you know, inking them was just a matter of inking them. And, and I used to try to uh, record it till I have, so for content on the YouTube channel, which again is like another bonus when you're actually producing stuff. Uh, but yeah. But anyway, that was my quick review and uh, thumb through of the book. And uh, why I recommend it because to me it was it was a real inspiration in in terms of trying to get my own work done and just breaking it down to one panel a day. That's so doable. I don't care if you have a full time job or whatever. Uh, whatever the case, you can do it. Doesn't even need to be a comic or anything. Just produce one square panel of art per day uh there's a lot of people doing some really great stuff online uh, but yeah don't don't just wait for october keep it up that's what i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do again get the awesome design on the the uh slip cover i just love it anyway thanks for watching Check it out. I'll put a link at the bottom uh, to where you can maybe pick it, pick your own self up a copy if your local comic book store doesn't have it uh, as well. Yeah, let me try to do this. Two page fold out. Kind of good enough there. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to dig the book. Like I said, I'll, I'll put a link in the uh, description to... Uh, Hopefully you'll get it, like I said, if it's not at your local comic book store. Uh, I know you can get it on Amazon, but uh, I think uh, I'm going to link his link for it from the Twitter account. But anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching.